Well, hello there, friends. Welcome back to East Shade. My name is Cromor, and we have lots to do. Did I already buy that zip trolley? Yeah, we did. So now we are going to head back to Tiffmore Bluffs and use that sucker. And also, I think we are going to make a pit stop at Kai's because. He should now have been clearing his name, so let's go check up on him. And I think we are going to do a good old time warp here, so because there's lots of walking to do and you don't have to sit through it. So, time warp, whoop! So here we are, let's see what, what Kai has to say. Is everything now okay, all fine and dandy? I right can't believe it! Business is booming already! We're truly grateful for all of your help. Here, take these glowstones. We made a big sale just for the morning eclipse. Uh, I couldn't possibly take them. Thanks! Well, we are going to take them. We did good work here. We're in the middle of our reopening and... Crimini, what a turnout! Uh, there was nobody here, dude. Uh... So you'll repay Finn? That's great. That's great. Couldn't have done this all without you. Oh, for great shade's sake, we, we gotta unpack some of what Caitlin already packed up. Oh, my poor wife. Can't believe what I put her through. I hope I can make up for it all. Of course, you're welcome to my wares anytime, at a discount. Awesome. What do you have? A uh, Hydra Thistle. Uh, I don't know what that does. So, no thanks. How about you, lady? I'm so happy we've sorted all this out. I know we've done some questionable things, but we're turning a new leaf now. Good I'm for you. I'm going to put together a kit of tinctures for Finn and tell him just what happened. We're going to be new people. Awesome. Okay. Now, I think it's just, uh... We just need to get back to Tiffmore Bluffs. And use the zipline thing. I don't think there's anything else for us to... Well, of course, we have lots of these side quests, but we are not going to do all of them. So, I guess this might be a good time for... Uh, another quick time warp, so you can listen to that uh, nice little elevator music. And begin! Whip. I'm on a lake, going super slow. I have a raft that is made out of flowers. It's getting late, I don't know when I'll reach the shore. Whoop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. <laughs> yeah, baby, here we are. At the zip line. Let's let's see how this works. Go. Ooh. Nice. West Spring Bluff. I'm feeling inspired as heck. So where's that? Where's that little uh, hot spring? Here it is. Oh yeah. Let's sit here. Nice. And. Let's use the vial. Awesome. Is there anything else here? Or was this just the hot spring stuff? I don't see anything else. So maybe we can just use that other zip line and see if that takes us to the to the cave. I think that might be the case here. And also, I think it's our only way out. I don't know if you can zip line like uh, upwards. I don't think that's how zip lines work. Hopefully, I don't see anything important. Uh, is this the cave? Okay, the cave must be somewhere over there. So we could. Maybe climb up. 
But I don't want to do that. We want to go see what's over here. Well, this is a cave. Is it? And what did we need to do here? We want to see if there's a hot spring here and also... There was something. Uh... Oh! And I should uh, check back with the, the little mice guy. I thought that I already did that, but seems not. What? Didn't we have a quest for like uh, finding some some old box from a cave? I think that we did, but I might be mistaken. It's kind of dark in here. I can't really see, but luckily there, there's indicators that show show me the loot, the sweet, sweet loot. This is super dark. What the hell? Can we use a torch or something? I, I don't know. I don't believe we have any torches. Nope. Oh, this is this is going to inspire me. Yeah. Howling caverns. So this is nice. This is dark, but hey, shit! The final hot spring. We did it. Nice. Okay, so that is done, and that's awesome. But what else can we do here? I can't see shit here. Maybe this is like a... Just for the relaxation. This is kinda nice. But what the hell was the quest with the... With the box? I've collected all five hot spring samples. I should take these back to Zara. Yep, we will do that. Uh, yeah. Huh. I don't know. Let's just head on onwards this ca cave and see where this leads us. Maybe this actually comes out from that other cave that was shown on the map. There's a zip line. Oh no, can we even... No. <laughs> we cannot climb there. Because yeah, for reasons. Or can we? Can we actually go because when I get close to this okay yeah. When I get close to those rocks it's so dark that I can't see the slope. But when I backed up a bit, uh, it lighted up and yeah. This more gorge. Okay. So is there anything interesting that we can do here? I don't think this is a jumping puzzle. Yeah, we can jump on these things. And if we can't use the zip line here, we can't. So there's basically nothing for us to do here. I guess this was just another way to come to this cave. Yeah. Because this was the cave that I was thinking about, so we could have gone this route and... Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Huh. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do than uh, head back. Should we go see the ghost uh, while we are at it? We could, uh, could paint a picture of the stone bridge and also talk to the ghost because it is night time, I believe, or getting close. So I think we might want to do just that. We could go visit uh, that Finn, Flynn, Flynn guy, something like that. 
uh, complete that quest, paint the bridge, go see the tower, and then head back to Nama. Yeah, okay, seems about right. And, yeah, let's do another time warp here, because this game is now turning into an actual walking simulator. And I think there, this might take some time when I get back there, so... Time warp, whoop! Hey, wait a minute. This is the freaking box. Mysterious box. It's locked. There's a name carved into the wood. The name is Medve. Uh, why didn't I have a quest for... Uh... What? I have talked to uh, Medve, I believe. And she told me about the box. Okay, may maybe it's a bug or something, but... Alright, let uh, we found it, so that's awesome. Let's continue the time warp. Also, hey, 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 do you see this? This is a small stone bridge, which was one of our commissions, and I was thinking about uh, painting that one bridge from the beginning of the game, but hey, this looks awesome. So let's paint this thingy here. We want the little windmill there, we want the earth. I think actually this is just perfect. Paint! Well, I can't see shit, but I believe that it's perfect. <laughs> As always. And uh, also, before we do a time warp, I just remembered that while I was walking uh, here in the first place, we gathered some of those reed stuff, and now we can build a reed boat. So, awesome. When we get to the water, I will build that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Time warp. Whoop. Let's build a boat. Reed boat. Do it. Boink. Okay, let's see how fast this... This guy can go. Hey, wait a minute, how do I climb aboard? Oh, like this. Okay, so this is uh, four million times faster than the than the flower boat. Oh, what? I need to look in, a, in the way that I, I want to be driving at. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, this is still kind of slow. So let's let's continue time warping. Weep, weep, weep. I'm just going to going to park my little god damn it. It's not too deep. Let me dismount. There we go. Because I saw something interesting there on the in the in the forest. I think there was a campfire of sorts. Oh, this is the drumming thing. What did we need to do here? It was the chorus of the night. Maybe I should investigate. Okay, let's investigate by going to talk to these guys. <gasps> Don't worry, mates. 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 What the heck? Oh, I scared them off. Uh, maybe I did... Oh, okay, we got an update. I came upon a curious sight in the blast woods. A group of drummers in the night. They ran into a tree door when they saw me. A tree door? I should go tell Rania about this. Okay. Oh, because, oh, it's night, so... I don't think Rania and uh, Flynn are there. Maybe, I'm not sure. We can take a look, because it's right over there. But uh, we should definitely go... See a man about a ghost. Or see a ghost and see if it can tell us about a man. Or <laughs> something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry about that. Uh, is Rania and Flynn here? There's someone there. Is that is that Rania? Do you ever sleep? No, you, you are nameless. Oh, I think they are sleeping. I'm just barging in. Hey! Hi again. It's super dark here. It's nice 
nice to see a familiar face. We don't get too many visitors out here. I saw the drummers. What? Really? A tree door? Let's go see it. Oh shit. Uh Well it was it was pretty nearby. Let's go. Oh, and we don't even need to run. Great. Hmm. You're sure it was here? Positive. Well, they seem to have left no trace. And the door in the tree? I swear there was a door. I believe you. I've been hearing those drums for too long. Something mysterious is afoot. Whatever they're doing, it's clear they don't wish to be discovered. I think you should ask around in Nava. Maybe there's someone who knows more about these Blushwood Night Drummers. All this investigating has made me thirsty. I think it's quite time for a Lindauian brew. Let me know if you find out more. Come on by any time. All right, great. So... What time is it? It's still night. So, are we still able to go... Go see that ghost? Well, I guess there's an option of always going back to Lindo and sleep there. Actually, we can build a tent, I believe. So we could... Yeah, we could camp outside the tower and wait for night time. Okay, that's also a great plan. I'm going back here to see if we can find Flynn from here. Somewhere. I think this person here is a servant of sorts. And uh, they don't uh, let her come in at night. So she just keeps sweeping the natural natural floor there. I can't see shit here. Is there a way? Okay, let's see. Let's bump up the brightness. Okay, this is better, but... It's still kind of weird because at times, most of the time, I believe that brightness was alright. But sometimes it's just super, super dark. Hey, mate. So I can't seem to find Flynn. I think he should be here. No, Flynn, it's Finn. Uh, yeah, he should be here, but maybe we need to wait until until daytime. So let's continue our way back to the tower. Actually, we should maybe take a little cart ride back to the back to Lindo. Hey, mate. Need a lift? I do. All right then. <laughs> that voice. Okay, here we are. I don't know if this is too early in the morning. Or too late in the morning. Like for the ghost. But if, if, if it's not there, then we can just... Wait a minute, where was the tower? Uh, yeah. If the ghost is not there... Then we can just uh, do a little campsite there and wait until until night time. There are oh, okay. There's a dude. Is that the ghost? It's locked. Hey, what are you doing out so late? Uh, you first. What's in the crate? What's in the box? Oh dear. I must ask that you tell no one about this. The information you have is already too close to uncovering the truth. I'm delivering supplies to... someone... who is hiding in the old tower. It's the architect. That old tower was once used to communicate urgent messages to Nava using signal flyers. Some years ago, the need for such a tower faded, and it fell to ruin. That old tower? Someone has taken up residence there. I suppose one could say this person is hiding out. They wish not to be bothered by anyone. And that's something I can relate to. Who is it? It's the architect. I know This it. person wishes to remain unknown, and I mean to respect their wishes. I help lock it up, and only I hold the key to enter. I deliver supplies at night. Why are they hiding? I think they feel that the world of people is no place for them. I'm not sure this is the right solution. 
but the choice is not mine to make. I do hope you decide to keep this a secret. Its exposure means nothing to you and everything to the one who dwells in the tower. It's the architect of Lindo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, I suppose you've already connected the dots. I knew someone would guess it eventually. The one who dwells in the tower is the architect of New Lindo. The one who designed the beautiful buildings. The one who has been missing for years now. Maybe this is for the best. Perhaps it's time someone talked to him. And maybe it's best if it's an outsider. I think, deep down, he doesn't want to be living in the tower. He is rash, and he is proud. Will you talk to him? I'll leave the door unlocked for you. I will. All right. Well, that was that was not a real mystery. That was really easy to figure out. Let's go talk to the guy. Candle, thing, escape route. Uh, yeah. Let's climb up. Hello, mate. Who are you? How did you get in? Like, see, this is what I mean uh, with the brightness. I think uh, the game overall is now uh, uh, lit quite properly. But look at this guy. You can't make make uh, any sense of his uh, features or any, anything like that. So there is some sort of weird lightning problem uh, with the game. Uh, Ingov let me in. I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? Uh, I think I understand. You understand? Then, you know what it is to be an outsider your entire life? You've experienced what it is to be known for a birth anomaly? You can't possibly understand. Oh, but I can. Look at my face. I can see Next your face. <laughs> Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. The father showed her a new route to school so she could avoid passing me. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. Uh. Someone wrote a book about you. Really? What did it say of me? <laughs> it main, it's mainly about your disfigurement. What disfigurement? Dude, I can see your face. It's about your accomplishments as an architect. So, someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, <laughs> that is interesting. That changes everything. <laughs> it's about time. This conversation, it was almost enjoyable. <laughs> Perhaps I'll see you again. But now, I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. I don't believe I invited you into my house. Well, you're welcome, man. Architect of Lindo. I met Azar, the architect, and told him of a book written about his work. He seemed like a rather brittle fellow and asked me to leave his tower. Okay, let's do just that. Use the escape route. Great. So yeah, I think we should head back to Lindo and we can uh, take a cart back to, back to Nava. Because I don't believe there's much to do in Lindo anymore. Or... Why can't I pick you, flower? I don't know. I can pick that flower, but not that other one. Weird. So let's go here and end this episode right here. And next time, uh, we'll head back to Nava. We'll uh, talk to all kinds of different people. We'll loot that. And uh, 
Yeah, I think then we should gain the access to the central tower and do the last painting for dear old mother. And I think we are pretty much pretty much at an end of this this game. Great. So I don't know if the next episode is going to be the last one, but at least it will be close, I believe. But for now, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.